friends, today I am here and I am doing an entire face of makeup using makeup from the dollar store. So I went to Dollar King in Glendale. I have went, actually went to a couple different dollar stores and I found that Dollar King had the biggest selection of makeup. So I felt like this was kind of like the best of the best as far as figuring out like good colors and stuff. Um, so hopefully this is good. I got this entire face of makeup for under $15. So let's do this. So first of all, I did not get a primer. They did not have a primer, that's okay. And all of the tools I am using are actually my own because they didn't have brushes and sponges and stuff there. So first we're gonna do some foundation and I can already tell you this foundation is gonna be way too dark for me, but it was the lightest foundation they had. So it was kind of this or nothing. Um, this is just an NYX sponge. I find with cheaper foundation, using a sponge is better than using a brush because it gives you a lighter application. See if this pump wants to work. Hello. Mm. Okay, plan B. I'm just gonna open this up. So, first dollar store fail was the foundation pump. And it's real orange. But it applies actually pretty good. This is actually a really light foundation, so it's okay that it is really dark because it is not matte. So I feel like this is less a foundation and more like a tinted moisturizer. Definitely not covering up my blotchiness. It's just making me real orange. Well, I officially feel like an Oompa Loompa, so that's fun. Okay, so product number one, foundation, fail. Now I'm gonna use some concealer. This is just super smooth Santa Fe concealer. I chose a stick concealer over a liquid concealer because I find with the cheaper brands, liquid sometimes is too light, and at least this will have some oomph to it, hopefully. And I'm also going to use this as a little bit of a contour just because that foundation is so orange. So I'm going to bring a little bit of the lightness back to my skin. And this actually is a pretty pink concealer, so hopefully it'll neutralize that orange a little bit. So the concealer is not terrible, actually, and it blends pretty well. Sometimes the cheap concealers will be chalky. This one actually isn't at all. I'm just gonna use a little bit more of it underneath my eyes because I do have dark under eye circles. So I'm just gonna layer it a little bit more. Product number two, concealer. We give an A. Yay! Now I'm gonna set with some powder. I really hope this powder isn't too dark. It was the lightest powder they had. It is ivory. And I'm gonna use the little spongy it comes with. Oh my gosh, it's so orange. Oh, they did not have any um, translucent powder. So. All that concealer I just put on my skin to neutralize the orange. This is just bringing it back. Cool. You know, it's not a bad powder though. It's just not the right color. The texture of it is actually pretty good. It smells really like old lady perfume though. This is a two-in-one. This is a blush and um, bronzer. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of contour just to see how this stuff is. I feel like I don't need much of it because my face is so orange right now, but we'll see. It's decent. Pretty orange though. Now I'm gonna do some blush. Ooh, pigment. Holy crap, way too much pigment. Okay, I went in way hot thinking usually cheap blush doesn't have much pigment to it. Not very blendable though. I give this little duo, I give this a C. Okay, so now we're gonna do some highlight. This is baked highlighter in champagne. We'll see. Sometimes the cheap highlighters tend to be really sparkly. You can't really see it. Yeah, it basically is like non-existent. Highlighter's okay. It's not sparkly, which is good, but it doesn't have a ton of pigment to it. Even on my finger, it's not very heavy. So we'll give the highlighter a C as well. So I did not get any eyeshadow primer because they did not have eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna go straight in with my shadow. Hopefully this is good. It's a good matte eyeshadow palette. It's called Beauty Trends and it's got all of the nudes. So it's basically like your good, like naked eye palette, but it was a dollar. So I'm gonna start with the white. Oh, it's got a little bit of pigment to it. I'm gonna use the concealer as a little bit of a shadow primer. You can multitask your products. I forget, I'm so spoiled with so many products. I forget back in the day when I would multitask products. Okay, back to business, back to that white. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna use a mix of these two on the top. I hope they're not too yellow, but I just don't want it to be too dark. And I don't know the pigment in these guys. Wow, these are actually pretty pigmented. They're covering up the freckles on my eyelids and that's usually what I have the hardest time with, so 
I would say that the pigment is just like pretty yellow. I wish they had a more sort of gray neutral, but pigment wise, it's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this color because it's more of like a gray brown and I'm gonna do my crease with this one. Uh, okay, so the dark colors don't have as much pigment as those light colors did, which is to be expected, but still not terrible and they blend really well. So eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna give it a B plus just because there are so many yellowy colors in it, but it's pretty darn good. Okay, so next we have eyebrows. They did have, um brow powder but I didn't think it would be dark enough so I just got this this is a waterproof eye slash lip pencil in nutmeg I also wanted to make sure that my brow had a little bit of red to it and most of what they had was blonde black or brown oh yeah this color is perfect I like the texture of this pencil too it's like really waxy probably because it's waterproof pretty darn good I give this pencil an A Okay, now here's the scary test, and this is the eyeliner. I actually tested this on my hand earlier, and it did not want to come off, so I'm kind of scared to wash my face later. So, oh no! I went in too hot. Okay, so the applicator gets like a C, because it's really fat and not very easy to maneuver. I feel like the formula is okay, it's just this applicator is really bad. It also feels like it dries up really fast, like you have to keep dipping. It's dark though. Usually the cheap ones don't have very dark pigment, so this is good. It's also really shiny. Like, it's dry and it looks like vinyl. So, if you don't mind shiny liner, um, the verdict on this so far is it's pretty fine, actually. I've used some really bad cheap eyeliner, so because of the applicator, I'd give this a C, but i give the formula a B. So I'll give it a C, a C plus. Okay, now let's try this mascara, Jordana Mascara. I am not super picky with mascaras because I usually wear fake eyelashes. This already seems like it's really dry. But yeah, this is pretty just run of the mill basic. I'd give this mascara a C. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some lashes and I actually didn't find glue there, so I'm using my own glue. But these are just their dollar lashes and they actually look really good. So I hope they apply well. So let's glue these bad boys on. Beware, if you usually don't have to trim lashes, you might actually have to trim these. I probably should have trimmed these a little bit. And I pretty much never cut lashes, so. It's weird because they're so long and I'm not used to wearing lashes that are so long, but they actually have nice shape. They look nice. All right, I give these lashes an A, especially because they're so long, so I feel like they accommodate more eye sizes than most lashes do, which is nice. Last step of this whole shebang is lips. This is a matte, it says it's a matte lip gloss. I think it means that it's a matte lipstick. It looks more like a lipstick to me. Oh, it's so orange. The applicator is actually really nice. I like that it's angled. It makes it a lot easier. So this color is very orange, but I'm not necessarily mad at it. I think it's kind of like a cool, like hip trendy orange red. This isn't dry yet, so I can't give you a full final verdict. It feels nicer than a lot of the expensive matte liquid lipsticks. It says it's gloss, which is weird. It actually smells nice too. It smells like Smarties. I'm actually pretty impressed. Oh, I give this an A. That's it. I hope you liked my dollar store tutorial. If you guys have your own dollar store recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Or um, if there's anything that you hate from your do local dollar store, please also leave that in the comments below. But I hope you guys like this video. And um, I hope this proves that you don't have to spend $8 million for your makeup to look good. I would say maybe spend money on your foundation because these bad boys usually are kind of garbage, but otherwise you can get away with skimping on most things. If you guys have suggestions of other videos I should be making, leave them in the comments below, but otherwise I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.